Hello, friends of chemistry, module 10, on your own, 10.3, page 327. So 10.3 asks us to determine the acid and base in the following chemical reaction. H3PO4, aqueous, plus 3KOH, aqueous, yields 3H2O liquid plus K3PO4 aqueous. So we want to find out which is the acid, which is the base. Okay, when I say that, you should be thinking to yourself, acid donor. Base acceptor of the H plus or the proton. So, looking at this, the first step for us to do is to determine are any of these on the left side, the reactants, are any of these reactants ionic compounds? Ionic compounds, of course, will have a metal in them. This has no metal, right? This is hydrogen, this is phosphorus, this is oxygen. Phosphate, by the way, you should recognize it as one of the polyatomic ions you learned in um, module nine that you memorized, right? I hope you memorized. All right, <clears throat> and this over here, this K is, um, oh, I know what you are. Uh, it's potassium, excuse me. So this is potassium hydroxide because this is another one of the polyatomic ions that we memorized, right? We memorized them in module nine. So this one um, with the potassium in it, which is in column 1A, is of course the ionic compound. So we're gonna rewrite our equation, leaving the covalent compound alone. I'm not gonna bother with my aqueous sign. So I'm gonna say uh, it's gonna be three Ks, and K is in column 1A on your periodic table. And so in column 1A, that means <coughs> it'll be a 1 plus, or just a plus. And then the OH becomes uh, OH negative, and there are three of those. Okay, so uh, here is water, which comes from that. That makes this base, and it makes this one. Uh, the donor. All of the H's that join the OH, all three of them, come from here, the H3. So this is the acid. One donates its H3s, and this one accepts those uh, free hydrogen plus ions. And again, this is a clue that this is the base. Why? Because the hydroxide ion indicates a base. Okay, so if you have any questions about uh, these on your own, please let me know.